The green-capped Marshalist serves as the final boss in the Treasure Hunt quest and is located at the Valley of Ecstasy Melon Field. This formidable foe specializes in fire-based assaults, making it wise to don the Fireproof Mantle, which you can acquire from the secret boss in Chapter 1. Expect his melee strikes to come in Rapid 3, four hit combos, so stay on your toes and be ready to evade. Once you've dodged his attacks, seize the opportunity to unleash some swift counterattacks. It's best to conserve your mana for the immobilized spell instead of using Pluck of Many, as your clones will struggle to be effective when he shifts into his wheel form. In summary, while the green-capped Martialist can be somewhat predictable, he remains a tough opponent to land hits on. Use your spells wisely and maintain your patience, capitalizing on his melee phases to deal damage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games.
Nothing more. I've done as our brother asked. Till we meet again! Your faith has led you here. <laughs> Rest easy. You won't find those noisy chantings and pain screamings here. Hmm. <clears throat> A nice, ripe melon. Want a bite? Mm. Mm. It's better than you think. Sun Wukong used it to trick that disciple of mine. Now you've found this place, I'll teach you a trick neither of them knows. Your hand. <laughs> Spellbinder. It hurts no foe, but binds yourself. You'll come to understand its use. An old friend of Sun Wukong came to me, wanting some peace. I led him to the Great Pagoda. Have you paid him a visit? <laughs> they say you are the destined one. But if destiny is set, what difference do our actions make? <laughs> 